Emerging Normal University. Um, he's a professor and the deputy dean of uh, School of Environment. Uh, he received his PhD in 2004 from School of Environment Science in Beijing University. Uh, he worked as a research fellow in Hongkong University of Austria from 2004 and 5, and then joined the Beijing Normal University after that. His research interests uh, involve ecological economics in natural ecology and urban ecology. So. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Beijing and uh, welcome to Tsinghua University for this uh, uh, conference. Uh, actually, it's uh, not a good um, empirical analysis. I have a background of the ecology by training. And this recent uh, years, I'm interested in the um, metabolism research. But uh, I always confused about the, the metaphor from the biology of ecology to the uh, research in our domain. Uh, this is my outline about the development concept of metabolism and also the what we have achieved during the several decades of research from 1965 to be specific and also the how what we can to continue to do in the future from the metaphor to research domain. Uh, it's, a, it's a basic idea about the bi biology is the perspective of um, metabolism and metabolism means change, something change, happen, reaction, to make something alive. This two points is very important because for the city, we need some of the reaction. And also we need something makes the, the city, you know, alive too. So it's, uh, I find this uh, etymology in their breaks, the words, mental, uh, means change. And the notation of uh, metabolism therefore refers to, refers to the process of changes that kept the system alive. And uh, he had a very essential uh, initial use in ecology and the biophysical sciences. This is the very uh, the development uh, uh, route, we, the roadmap. We are, actually, we are all familiar with this, this process. But the first one is that can be traced back to the uh, Malas Court in the 1860, 18, uh, 18, uh, but uh, this central point is very important because during this stage there was a lot of debate and argument. Can this concept be expanded across the higher, uh, cross field? But uh, since then we have no, no more di discussion or more debate. Can this this concept be used in this area? We all think this oh, it's okay. It's good concept. And uh, what we have to try to do is to find. Uh, Method, find a model, to modeling and measure what's happening inside. There was no longer debate on the concept, the rightness of the concept. But uh, during the, this stage, I think later, it's okay. And uh, during this stage, when you look at the reference in that time, there are lots of argument, debates about uh, can this concept be properly used in a macro or level. Uh, so it. it then now we, 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 I do not want to, to talk about this, but uh, we think things back to what the, we have learned from the biology. Actually, in the biology, maybe in ecology, there are lots of the keyword. First keyword is, uh, for, for instance, the ecology, structure, function, equilibrium, and the diversity. So all of these words, uh, if you look at for the urban metabolism, it's not uh, can be widely used in our domain. And in biological domain, you will find a lot of them. anabolism, catabolism, and this word upwards also seldom used in, in our research of, of GRD, <coughs> generally the energy recovery. So maybe we, we have all the chemical process by which food and its derivatives are broken down to yield new building blocks and energy. And this segment of metabolism is a term that catabolism. The same thing, things to, to, to separate and decomposition. And all the chemical processes by which living cells and tissues are produced to build up, maybe possibly from DNA to a large the macro structure of, the, of biology and ecology. But this uh, anabolism actually is the build up new molecules by a few things. These two processes is, uh, is very important for, for most of the bi uh, biological processes. And the final domain area, we have actually from the very beginning to try to, to measure 
how much uh, material or energy come flows into the city and how much waste flows out of the city at the beginning. And then then try to, to zoom the inside, find the more detail of the, the material energy flow inside. We have summarized some of the research here. Uh, the box actually north north area is just uh, to my understanding is a uh, is a lines and a box. The box means the stock, the lines means flow. And they try to, to depict or to try to detail no matter from the outside and the inside of the system. And the beginning we use the 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 the, 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 the box to, to the plus signal, plus sign, uh, plus signs means the element, how much element. And the sigma means the summation. You will find that at the beginning of mouth geometry, uh, food and water construction material, which there's no summation, just the inventory. And then they try to be, to count the most systematically from the material, the weight or energy, the joules, then try to sum some of them. And then with the development method like the energy, we try to unify the, all of them, provide unify the company, all of the material. And this is the one dimension. Another dimension is to use the single element, try to depict the more detail of the inside and outside of the system. So use the network analysis and to find the, 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 the stock flow and how they dynamically and statistically uh, modeling of the system and also the, the, the dynamic system. So roughly, it can be three times the research works. First is the linear process. They would just to, to measure how much we needed and how much we emission to the environment. So the results and the environmental pressure they really can be can be can be uh, uh, presented by this. And secondly, the maybe urban mining likes things to how much the potential results we can mine from the urban metabolism. And finally, we try to network to know, try to to understand the complexity of, of our urban system in in a, in a perspective for material flow analysis. Uh, I, I try to, to find the three types of thinking. I just think some basic idea. Yeah, as I said, no em empirical analysis, but just thinking. So, uh, for this is the building or construction area. You will find that this is the material flow, this is stock, and this is the flow again, uh, waste flow. From this uh, dimension, you will find the actually is a structure that we build something structure. If the structure can be can be play function, we need additional flow, different types of flow, like the energy, water, to support the building to work the properly. So I divide these two types, a homogeneous flow and a heterogeneous flow, to make this the understanding of the stock and flow. You, you, we try to you talk a lot of the decoupling. We think the building decoupled, but actually this decoupling process is uh, coupled by another flow. The heter uh, homogeneous flow is replaced by a heterogeneous flow to, to play the function. This is the, what I get like from the ecology because with most of the ecology the structure and function. All of structure function needed something that is not pronounced without. So if you try to imagine a, a flow or like a movie like this, there was a, yes, there was a decouple from the homogeneous flow with the stock, but sometimes heterogeneous flow would be increased correspondingly. Uh, second uh, thing I'm um, thinking about, what is the affecting factor by the, uh, by the, uh, the urban, like Beijing or Tianjin or Shanghai, what's the, the, the metabolic rate related to like the urban shapes, urban types the, or GDP or whatever. Well, what do you think this? Well, we can find the two very famous rules in biology or ecology. First is the elementary. I think so, we some idea of this. Another one is the Allen, Allen's rule. Allen's rule, Allen's rule, yeah. And all of these uh, things is to depict the, the affecting factor of the body, metabolic, or metabolic body process. Like the, uh, you know, crabs, the, the weight, the body, the, 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 the body size, the, and the, uh, sorry. Uh, no, no, this is not the right picture. Actually, this is a body size the, with a metabolic rate. So there were some of the linear or logic uh, uh, relationships, uh, sometimes different. So like this, uh, 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 overall, uh, metabolic rate in the animal is generally accepted to show negativity along the rate. 
uh, scale from mass to the true power of the 7, 0 0.75, knowing that the Kepler's law. Uh, this is one of, but not all, uh, actually more to, 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 to provide any. Is this rules applies to urban scale or urban system? I'm not sure. We need to work to support or to deny or to approve of these rules in the study. Another one is the urban mining. We think the resource, resource we can recover from the current heat. We, we back to ecology. We, in ecology, we always see material cycle and the energy flow. Do not miss the material cycle. Material can be cycled. Energy only can be flow. Energy could not cycle. But the material cycle is driven by energy. There is no cycle without the energy. So for the urban industry, if we want to, to mix the circular economy or to every mining, whatever we want, we need to the cost of energy. Very large cost. And also maybe the, the trade-off, maybe trade-off between energy and material. Sometimes you have to sacrifice the energy to, to get the best resource. Sometimes you have to, to, to sacrifice the resource to get energy, whatever you want. So they will need to be careful, clearly in mind in the, 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 the basic idea, the basic philosophy behind the ecology, uh, material cycling and energy flow. And this is actually three things that I'm uh, currently working. And also my, one of my PhD to take this as uh, his thesis uh, work. Uh, yes, it's very challenging, but he tried to, to want to finish this. What's the next step? I have no idea. I'm not sure, but uh, we try to find some of the basic idea of the, uh, the beyond of what we have already done, the current in the metabolism. Yes, there are actually lots more we can learn from the biology and ecology, like the limited bio, and also about the, the shelf of the law of tolerance. For the city, you should be have a right resource provision to make the city to, to, to run in properly, not uh, on the threshold of the upper, upper roofs or lower roofs. We, so we need to find which one is the state the limiting factor uh, from the perspective of resource or uh, input of out whatever. See, and also law, law, like the Lindemann's law, actually all of the, the, the uh, even the equilibrium diversify, diversity, the, the principle of the ecology can be uh, to find their parallel or counterpartner in the urban metabolism. Uh, okay, then this is the final comment. Uh, box. The urban uh, metab metabolism network greatly promoted now and studied to the mechanism of urban material for the extent in nature, uh, especially in the, 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 the past 60, six decades. Six decades. We still need to go beyond the current paradigm to refresh the rich biological and ecological knowledge to shift the a metaphor to a real research domain of the uh, metabolism. Okay, thank you. That's all for my presentation.